Well, I'm not sure whether it's a little bit too dark for you to actually see me. We'll, uh, we'll see what this iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max can do in the uh, low light conditions. This is really putting it to the test. But today you join me, I've, I've just headed down the road and uh, yeah, I wanted to sort of talk to you today about something that's probably quite important in photography and certainly video, make, video making. And that's making something out of nothing. Well, I'm certainly in no glamorous location today. And as you can probably tell by the, the steam coming from my breath, it's a little bit chilly as well. I'm actually stood in Witness. I'm in a place called, well, I'm just on the outskirts of uh, Pex Hill. I've got the M62 just behind you guys now, sort of roaring away. It's getting a little bit busy now. And it's currently about half past seven. So uh, yeah, in the next sort of 10, well, next 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so, we should, should, fingers crossed, get a bit of a sunrise. Whether it be any good or not, who knows? So the reason why I've chosen this location today is quite simply, we're here over the weekend. Myself and Sarah came across for a walk and yeah, we just found this really nice path. And more, more interestingly, as we're walking along, we noticed this tree just in the, uh, in the background there. And I thought, well, it'll be a great opportunity to come out and just sort of focus, uh, focus, photograph something that is quite mundane. And this is what the whole purpose of today is all about. It's about just getting out and doing photography and, and getting a little bit of creative when you can. When people start getting serious about landscape photography, I always recommend to them to not go to the icon, iconic locations. Always try and find somewhere that's pretty much on your doorstep. And the reason for that is anybody can go to a prime location and get an image. A lot of times the location will take the image itself. You've just basically got to press a button. So when we come out to locations that are a little bit mundane, a little bit, <sighs> it's much more difficult to actually get a shot that you quite like. So I'm currently trying to get an image of this tree here. I've found a puddle that's in the foreground, so I'm going to use that as a bit of interest and try and get a still reflection. There's absolutely no breeze at all at the moment. So the puddle is completely, well, it almost acts like a mirror. Um, so I'm sort of focusing on the tree in the, uh, in the distance, the reflection in the puddle, uh, and I'm using settings around about 30 second long exposure, F9, ISO 64. We'll take a look at that now. Walking through on the way to this location this morning, whilst it was sort of blue out, I've taken a couple more images. I'll show those now, but I always prefer taking images in blue hour rather than the sunrise. Now, we're not gonna get much of a sunrise today, as you can probably tell by the cloud in the distance. It's, uh, yeah, it's starting to look a little bit grim. The weather forecast all night has been sort of teasing me whether it would actually be a nice, um, yeah, nice sunrise or not. You were saying it was gonna be patchy cloud, then full cloud, then patchy cloud, and so on and so forth. You know how it is. But um, yeah, we've, we've got a little bit of color in the sky. Whether that will change or not, I don't know. Only time will tell. But uh, I'm gonna take a couple more images of this tree, then head back into the path and head over to a place called Pex Hill, which is just basically behind you guys over there. It's the hill.
So what do I mean when I say making something out of nothing? Is it all about being a bit of a drama queen? Well, no. One thing I love about doing these vlogs is the, it's trying to put an idea onto video and, and uh, into, into images and sort of delivering out to YouTube for you guys to watch. And I always think it's important to have a bit of a base plan, but not follow it fully. And what I mean by that is landscape photography is always subject to change. You never really know what you're gonna get. You really never really know what your interests are gonna be when you get to a certain location. You don't know what the weather's conditions are gonna be like, where it's gonna be busy, where it's gonna be quiet, what you're gonna be able to get generally. And I always find that part of the interesting challenge of landscape photography. So whenever I come out and do these vlogs, I always have a base idea of what you wanna to wanna to record, but I never go into details because they come along as you start doing the vlog. So whenever I come to a location like this, a location that isn't a prime area, isn't somewhere that just shouts out compositions all the time, or there's not one sort of subject that you need to photograph. I always find it really interesting when I kind of come here with nothing, a, a, a bit of a base of an idea of what I want to do and, and the sort of type of video that I want to create, but that's it. And it's so much fun developing it as you go along. Yes, I, you know, you go along and you take your images, you start doing the video, but it's when you actually start to, to almost feel how the video is coming along and what you actually want to get further from it. Sorry, just getting distracted by this, uh, this pylon's noise. Uh, yeah, the, the power pylon going through the, uh, going through the air and it's uh, making a rather, uh, rather loud, loud hum. Oh, don't like those things. Yeah, swift walk away from that pylon. Don't know what it is, but they tend to freak me out a little bit, the, uh, the buzzing. I don't know, maybe it's just the power and the amount of electricity that's going through them, but uh, anyway, moved on. So what was I saying? Well, basically, it's all about the enjoyment of creating something. Starting with nothing, coming out, working a morning in a location like this, and actually coming away with something you're fairly proud of. So as you can probably tell behind me, there's quite a few uh, trees that are quite twisted and uh, yeah, sort of, they're really old and they're really old. They haven't grown massive, but uh, I'm not even sure what type of tree they are, but everything seems to have grown sort of just mangled and, and, and really twisted. So I'm going to take this opportunity now to get, take a couple of images um, just as a walk through. And uh, yeah, there's no real plan now. It's just a case of shooting some trees and, and seeing what I come up with. So. Uh, yeah, should be quite interesting. So the location I wanted to get to there was a little bit crowded. There was about five or six uh, dog walkers there and they all had a couple of dogs each. So uh, yeah, best part of 15 dogs running around and uh, yeah, every time I put the, the camera gear down, the, the tripod, uh, yeah, one of them was guaranteed to come over and try and cock the leg of the, uh, of the tripod. So uh, yeah, not the best experience there. But the one thing about Pex Hill uh, is it is based around the quarry and I'm just entering into the quarry now um, so I'm just watching where I'm going because it's uh, quite slippy and uh, a little bit uneven as well. So uh, 
I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to get from here. Um, this is a place I used to do a little bit of rock climbing from years ago. Um, yeah, there used to be a few of us that used to come around here and do a little bit of rock climbing. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a while since I've been in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to explore, sort of see what else it's got to offer. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit quieter in here as well. There's no uh, there's no dogs running around trying to uh, trying to pee on my tripod. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can get a few things from here, so uh, yeah, bear with us. a bit more uh, I thought there's more to uh, more to be had maybe there is maybe I'm just a little bit tired and uh, yeah ready to go home and get a little bit of sleep and uh, yeah wake up and start the day but uh, I think I've probably finished um, with Pexhill for now this is a, a location I think it's got some potential certainly on a, a nice uh, nice morning as you can probably tell the, the weather conditions haven't improved in fact we're getting a little bit of drizzle now everything's just starting to get a little bit wet and, and damp and uh, yeah, a little bit miserable, but uh, but yeah, that was the whole purpose of this video, is just to, to create something out of nothing. And I hope I've got that, that message across. And that was the whole purpose of coming out this morning. I knew the weather conditions weren't gonna be fantastic. I've got a couple of shots I'm fairly happy with, but uh, yeah, it was just about coming out and doing something. I think this is very, very important. I think so many YouTubers and photographers are put off all the time with coming out because you haven't got the perfect conditions or it's just not that right type of day and i think it's rubbish i, I, th I think we should really stop doing that and come out no matter what like i said i'm even doing this after a 12 hour night shift i'm feeling a little bit tired i've not got far to drive so i know i'll be fine to drive home but yeah i'm just feeling a little bit t tired now uninspired and uh but yeah i've still come out i've still got some fresh air i've still got some memories of today i've still got the video i'm still going to go home and uh and edit it process it have a look at some of the images process those and and yeah just sort of work this this as a, as a normal vlog and uh yeah if i wouldn't have done this what else would have done I've probably gone home and got some sleep and, and woken up feeling a little bit fresh and I'm going to later on. But uh, but yeah, irrelevant of that, it's, it's just all about just getting out there, I suppose. Getting out there and actually creating something. Don't let anything hold you back. And when you start with nothing, you end up with something. So I think it's time to finish the vlog here. So from Pex Hill, it's probably time to say goodbye. I'm not going to do the usual subscribe and, and thumbs up and stuff. I'm just going to leave you with this thought. That if I wouldn't have come out this morning, I wouldn't have had this vlog. All the best, take care. Next video up very, very soon. Bye-bye now.